Oh, whoa, that is, that's noticeable. So every new year, we get a brand new iPhone. In the last two years, we've seen two new iPhones come out. Last year was the SE and the iPhone 7. This year, we got the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 10. So in tradition, I got two iPhone 10 boxes in front of me. One's real, one's fake. Make sure you vote up in the iCard right there with your guess and let me know in the comments if you get it right at the end of the video. And here's how to spot a fake. So in front of me right now, I have two iPhone 10 boxes. The real one's right here and the fake one is of course, it's over there. No, it's right here. So I got the silver slash white looking color and here's what gets really interesting. On the iPhone 10 box, whether you get the space gray model, black one, or the white one, apparently it's called silver this year, it'll show you on the front of the box. So since I got the white color on the real one, it shows you this kind of greenish hue, a bunch of colors to mix it around together. And that's how you know you have a white iPhone 10. Now I got a fake white iPhone 10, but as you guys can tell, just on the front of the box, there are some dead giveaways. It's like they didn't even try. We got what is the space gray iPhone 10 image, and they'll probably change this once they see the video. That's usually how it goes. Just notice this. If you got green on the front of your box, you're getting a white phone. If you're not getting a white phone, they're either switching the box or they're trying to pull a fake on. Also, what's kind of interesting is there's a lock on the box. That's not going down on the real one. Let's see what else we get on here. So we got iPhone on the sides, Apple at the top. All right, let's just flip this over. So on the real one, I got an iPhone 10 in silver, 256 gig. You know we live larger around here. As for the fake one though, it says it's 256 gig. Online, I got a 16 gig model, so I don't really know what's going on there. And here's what's interesting. Check the barcode out. iPhone 10 gold. There is not a gold iPhone 10. That was some rumors. You guys probably saw this already on the Insta story, but let's jump on in the box. So opening up the real one first, you guys know what you're gonna get. You guys probably have an iPhone 10 already. Let me know in the comments if you picked one up. Let's open this up. Okay, pretty easy box, designed by Apple in California. You gotta check the spelling on these things. They put gold on the fake box, like you gotta check. All right, get your Apple stickers, get the iPhone 10 Apple adapter. You just gotta check. You just gotta check to see if you see an Apple logo on there. And then, okay, the EarPods. These are new this year. Not really, come on. I would love some free AirPods. I spent $1,000 on this thing. Actually, $1,100. Then we get the Lightning to 3.5 adapter, Lightning cable, okay. We've seen this. We know what comes inside the box. And now for the Fugazi iPhone 10. Let me know in the comments what's the biggest giveaway that this is a fake. Give it a nice shimmy to shake. Okay, there we go. All right, now let's open this up. It's in a bag, okay. Ooh, that doesn't feel bad. If your ear pods are coming in a tin like this, check yourself before you wreck yourself. You better check yourself before you wreck yourself. And there we have it. We got the real iPhone 10 here and the fake iPhone 10 here. Now, right off the bat, on the back, what's interesting is on the US model, there's no like FCC markings or text underneath. And on the fake one, there actually is. I think I said this in like my how to spot an iPhone 8 video. If you haven't checked that out, check it out right up there. But I said that there isn't supposed to be text underneath. I think that's just for the US. Let me know in the comments if your phone has like text underneath the iPhone. I think it's just a US thing. But all right, things are kind of looking good. You can definitely tell the, uh, the fake ones white whereas like the real one is silver let's flip these around and see what we got the buttons look pretty bad actually yeah those those don't look polished on the real one a lot more polished than on the fake one there you go if your phone screen is powering on white you're getting a white screen here at startup you know it's fake i got a silver one here and there's no white screen it's not how they're doing it this year not how they're doing it we got both phones right here and let's jump into the setup. All right, so like on the iPhone 8, assessive touch, assessive touch, assistive touch is already enabled and you can see they put the notch on the screen. What is this thing here? They added a notch to the screen. You can tell it's a normal screen with some black bar in the middle. Now that both phones are set up, how do they feel? Okay, so the real one definitely feels heavier than the fake one, that's kind of a tradition. And also the bezels on the fake one are a lot thicker than on the real one. That's kind of the whole point with the new iPhone 10. And on the fake one here, the camera's on the left side of the speaker, whereas on the real one, it's on the right side. That new true depth front facing camera. You know what it's about. It's got that face ID action. All right, on the back, things aren't looking too much different. Oh, whoa, that is, that's noticeable. Look at how thick the camera ridge on the fake one is compared to the real one. I know that's a problem. I don't like how thick it is. Just rocks on the table. Oh, yo, that's really bad. So with the iPhone 10, one of the biggest features this year is Face ID. It's kind of like what they're trying to get you to spend a thousand dollars on. One thousand dollars. So on the real one, of course, 
we got face ID right here. Now let's check on the fake one. Whoa, they actually have face ID on the fake phone. Let's go into face ID, set up face ID. <laughs> and I'm gonna reset up face ID on the real one here. Okay, so it says position your face within frame, whereas this one has already completed three fourths of the circle. Okay, it says register successfully. I just kind of half assed it. Let's try it out on the real one. Move your head slowly in a circle. Let me get that nice on stretch hold in there, man. Get that stretch. So on the real iPhone 10 here, want to hit the power button. I look at it. It unlocks. All right, swipe up. Pretty chill. On the fake one, let's try this. What just? It worked. It actually worked. Instead of me just swiping up and getting into it, it saw my face and put me right at the home screen. I wish Apple would do that on the real iPhone 10. Like, you just look at your phone and bam, you get right into it. Let's try that again. <laughs> that actually works! Face ID on the fake iPhone 10 is way better. Okay, let's look at the apps. Let's do a little bit of inspection. See if they did their job here. Mail spelled right, calendar, photos. You gotta look at the spelling of the generic apps. That'll be a dead giveaway. Kitchen. Let's take a picture. I'm actually gonna take a selfie on this one, okay? Here we go. Looks good. Doesn't look too bad. Oh, that's bomb, dude. That's gonna be my new Tinder profile. Make sure you guys swipe right on that thing. One thing I'm noticing is the display on the fake iPhone 10 is actually really good. Like, the best I've ever seen. I might not have seen the best fake iPhones before, but this is pretty damn responsive. Like, this is really good. I know there's that weird notch at the top. It's kind of distracting. Like, you just put a notch there. I know you had to to try to sell this off as a real iPhone, but wow, I'm actually low-key impressed. Okay, I wanna go to the App Store and see if it's different or if they cloned it really well. Sometimes they get it right, you never know. Okay, we're in on this phone. Cannot connect to App Store. Can I access Control Center? So on the iPhone 10, when you swipe down from the right corner, pulls up Control Center. Over here, I'm swiping down. No Control Center. Definitely no center of control going on. All right, so Control Center isn't working, but what is working really well is just swiping out of apps. Like if I'm in Messages, for example, just swipe on down. So for the App Store, yo, they did a good job. It's definitely Android, like the Google Play Store running underneath, I think. I hit games and it took me home. It's definitely sensitive. I want to see if it loads at the Play Store. I think it's going to load at the Play Store. I mean, it has to. The App Store isn't running on a fake iPhone. Maybe Apple's doing that these days. You never know. Yeah, it's loading no apps up. Just some previews. I'm just gonna save you the time. Basically, if you're buying this phone in person in like a Craigslist deal or like online, eBay, whatever it may be, have them send you some pics of the App Store. That'll be a dead giveaway. And also have them send you a pic of like the settings, like Face ID. That'll also tell you if your phone is real or if it's fake. Guys, I had so much fun making this video. This fake iPhone 10 might just be the best fake iPhone 10 I've ever seen. If not, it's the best fake iPhone clone. This thing's amazing. If you guys are new on here, make sure you get subscribed and turn notifications on and follow the Insta stories so you don't miss anything coming up and you're hanging out with the crew. Hope I helped you guys spot a fake. Bye.